What's up, YouTube? I was just listening to, um, what's it? Um, D'Angelo. I don't know how many of y'all remember that, but um, You're My Lady. It just make you like, you know, like vibe, you know, like, you know? But anyway, um, this video is all about how to find a conscious woman. I want to try to keep this as brief as possible. You don't... So if you're interested in this video, stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll, we try to upload weekly on this channel. It's usually me and my um, husband, Cliff Mega. Um, today, just me, Niaja. Thank you for all your, all your support, all my family that's been rocking with us for a while, and all your new people that just turned on the subscription button, okay? So let's get right to it. Um, how to fight a conscious woman. You can't listen to a conscious man telling you how to find a conscious woman, really. Unless they have one and they're going by experience. Okay, this is how I find my conscious woman. But the only thing is about that is everybody's um, particular situation is different. So you attract what you are. So a lot of brothers say, oh, I can't find a conscious woman or where do I find a conscious woman? Um, you don't really find them, right? They're reflections of you. So if you feel like you're always around women that you feel that are not reflections of you then you're lying to yourself because only reflections of you are portrayed because like attracts alike and i know this because like in my environment that i'm in now it's not the ideal environment that i want to be in but it's good for for now but for now and i say that because not to get too far off the point but i say that because um I, I rarely know anybody in my neighborhood and it's because of the law of attraction so only the people that's of my my energy vibration is going to come into my my world and my existence so I don't know these people around here I might hear them like I hear them cursing I hear them you know doing whatever they're doing and stuff like that but it's never within my circle you know so like I so that's how I know for sure that the law of attraction is real and that it works. So if you want to find a conscious woman, you work on yourself, right? Conscious women are not in, in particular areas. They're not in particular places good because as a conscious woman myself, and there are different levels of consciousness too. So um, what kind of, what level of consciousness are you looking for? You know, and the level of consciousness that you are looking for is actually the level of consciousness that you are. You're going to attract what you are. So, if you work on yourself, then the person that is for you will be, the universe will be slowly putting together steps towards you guys' attraction. Like a magnet. Two magnets come together, bam. And yeah, me. So, like I said, it's not any particular place to meet a conscious woman because we could be anywhere. I mean, we can be... Um, at the library, we can be walking down the street, we can be going for a job, we can be going to a store. We can be in a neighborhood that we don't necessarily be in. It's just a matter of coincidence and a circumstance or something like that. So it really depends. So it's not any particular place to look for conscious women. So just get that out your head. Just get that out your mind. It's just not. And if you want a conscious woman, just know that you cannot, um, you cannot, um, Approach them like you would approach somebody else, you know. A regular hello is fine. And sometimes I know that we as women, we get like frustrated because we run into a lot of men that might, that don't know how to approach a woman. They don't know how to have a casual conversation. So res please do respect the fact if the woman is telling you that she's involved in a relationship, respect that. Because if she was your woman, you would want her to respect your relationship too. Okay, so number two, don't touch on her. Don't invade her private space. Um, that turns women, most women off. We're not feeling at you because you don't know us. So don't touch us, right? Um, number three, don't be, don't call us out of our name. We're not your baby. We're not your honey. Um, we're not your sweetie. We're not your shorty. So don't call us out of our name. We rather. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening, miss. Well, I don't like ma'am. That makes you sound old. But, you know, good evening, miss. Good evening, queen. Good evening, uh, good day, sister. Um, things like that. That's fine. 
nice to meet you. It's a lovely day outside. And sometimes you don't even have to get so creative, like have a catch line. You don't need to have a catch line. You just need to be casual and clean. Don't come looking dirty. And you don't have, have you don't have to have the best clothing. You don't have to have the best um um, you don't even have to be like the cutest guy, but you have to have a good conversation. If you have a good conversation, most women will give you a time of the day. But if you ask the same thing like your sign, unless you're into numerology, then yeah, okay. Then we can go deeper into numerology. Um, what else would be good? a good conversation? Um, you can talk about the weather to break the ice. That's fine. It's a little corny, but it's better than you saying something corny like um you've been running through my mind all day long you're so fine and all that i don't want to hear that um we don't want to hear that um you look very nice today it's that's simple that's fine conscious women like that you know we like to be complimented on that um but just don't overdo it um maybe she's carrying some bags you can offer to carry her bags um it depends on a woman Someone might say, no, thank you, you know, and disrespect that. Don't, and don't persist. Um, um, you would tell a joke, a funny joke, but not a perverted joke. Um, and not, nothing, nothing that's like controversial because you don't know her yet and you don't want to like, you know, but don't think so hard, you know, don't overdo it. Don't think so hard because the right person for you is going to understand you is gonna understand where you're coming from. Everything you gonna, everything you're gonna say is gonna be right to her. It's gonna be funny or even quirky or stupid, but she's still she's still gonna to want to pursue you. So she's gonna give you signs that it's okay to continue the conversation. Just you know, be yourself. Don't be fake. Don't put on don't put on no mask about who you are. Um, just be real. Just be you. Just be calm. Um, be confident in you. Like I said, you don't have to be the handsomest guy. You don't have to be the finest dressed guy. Those things help, but it doesn't keep the attention. Like, and it doesn't carry the, the relationship because what's more important, women are more mental. So if you can carry her mentally, mentally stimulate her mind, the conversation can go and it can go further from there. So we'll come back with a part two on my husband's perspective on how to catch a conscious um how to, I guess, I guess perspective on it, right? So if that helped you, I'm glad it did. If it didn't help you, I'm sorry you didn't. And don't dislike this video. Only like this video. Only positive comments here, okay, people? I love you. I've always loved you. And I wish you so much success in your relationships, so much happiness, so much prosperity, so much love, so much peace, so much joy. Love you. Bye-bye. Come back again, okay, guys? Thank you.